Okay, part two. So, how do you explain love to somebody? All I can do is tell you that you think you've been in, in love. You think even uh, I thought I had love for my babies. Uh, then I went to the other side. You, and it really isn't anywhere close to the real thing. I know they try to teach you here, but I, I don't even try. You're going to have to get higher before you can come close. And so, I'm going to do other things, and then we'll go into the love thing when we get in the upper levels of 4D. Now, where I spend most of my time, like I said, in the mid-rangers of 4D. The higher you get into 4D, the better, uh, especially service to self side, because the higher they go, the more that they beat everybody else up, because, you know, the strongest survive, the strongest excel, the strongest rule. So the higher you get, the more adept these guys are. And it's the lower level draconians and reptilians that were sent to Earth. They were the lower ones, because Earth, humans were so easy to manipulate, it did not take a high level reptilian and draconian to deal with humans at all. Not at all. So now we're in mid-range 4D and they can show up any way they want. Hell, reptilians and draconians don't even change what they look like. Because it works for humans, because they it's so easy to make humans afraid. All they got to do is have reptilian eyes and people, humans freak out. Oh my god, it's the demons! Because you can't even see past eyes. You can't see past skin, can't see past sex, can't see past the fact that I smoke. It's so easy with humans. It does not take a high level reptilian to run the show at all. And the reptilians that are here, such low level, doesn't take high draconian at all to run the reptilians at all. It's low level. Low level you've been dealing with. You think they're big bad? Uh, well, they didn't have to do much. All they have to do is set humans in motion and the humans take care of it themselves. They beat themselves up and they attack each other at the drop of a hat. At the drop of a hat. It's really super easy. So now we're in 4D and these guys are, yeah, they're a little tougher. Not for me, because I don't pay any attention to any of them. I don't care what they think they've got. I don't care how much power they think they've got. It's nothing compared to mine, because they're still amnesia in amnesia. They still don't, on both sides, they still don't really believe that they are creator gods. Uh, the pigeons might say it, might mouth it, but they don't really believe it. Otherwise, they wouldn't have... Uh, councils that make decisions and ascended masters that make decisions and angels that assist them. If you believe you're a creator God, you don't need any of that. You don't need any of that. I don't need any of that. But if your self-esteem is still wacko from 3D, then you can't make it through 4D. They'll get you in a heartbeat. They'll convince you uh, really quickly that they can they can help you, they can do it for you, you'll have a better life with them. One way or the other, service to self, service to others. Okay? This is very, very important. That is the reason why I have moved so fast through that other stuff, the other videos. That's the reason why I've been frustrated in having to repeat myself all the time. Because I knew where I was going here, and so many people were not keeping up, and I was going, well, if you can't do that, you won't even come close to being able to deal with these guys on this level. Because you have to, it's not hard to do, but it has to come from a place of, uh, yeah, I understand that you're in, amnesia, you're in amnesia and you're playing that game. But see, if you come from Earth where um, being a good guy and um, taking care of a child is a good thing and killing a child is a bad thing, you get to 4D and you're totally at risk. If you believe you're coming from Earth and you believe, no, that being strong is a good thing and being emotional is a bad thing, again, in 4D, you're gone. These guys are set up to, to just sift those people out. But if you stand in a unified front and look at them and go, love the game, dude. Great game. Not interested. Not playing. I, didn't, I don't want to stay in playing 3D, and I sure as heck don't want to stay in playing 4D. But you have to look at them as they are all creator gods. You can't get mad at them. You can't judge them. Because if you do, you will go to one side or the other. You cannot go to 5D that way. Cannot. Not allowed. 
But if you stay in the, I'm God, I got this, and maybe I'm just struggling and getting the hang of it, but ultimately it's my job. It's my decision. It has nothing to do with you guys. Nothing at all. If you're saying that, even if you are creating kind of like a two-year-old or one-year-old learning to walk for the first time, but but you have that knowledge that nobody can interfere with, you may be practicing a lot, and that's fine. Fall down, get up, fall down, get up. But get up on your own. You get up on your own. But if you come into it with judgment and, um, well, meat eaters are just wrong because you need to save all the, the animals on the planet. And uh, mankind is destroying the planet with global warming. Uh, I guess y'all miss the earthquakes and the hurricanes where Mother Earth can take out uh, a, all of... Oh, well, Mother Earth could wipe every human off the planet in a blink of an eye if she wanted to. Uh, <laughs> now, her, humans have made a mess of things, certainly, but nothing she can't clean up in five years. Uh, well, actually, she could do it much faster than that. Certainly she did. She's in 5D and completely clean. Uh, it's kind of like the children in the playground yeah, it's a big playground and they think that's the whole world and they trash it yeah there's a lot more world than than what you guys know about a lot more than you know about um it's kind of like you do in the olden days when they made a map and the map was really little and then the more they explored the bigger the map got like there was all of a sudden magically more land <laughs> when there really wasn't it's just they just now figured out where it was well um you know, all of those things that you see, you know, the, uh, the scientists look through telescopes, that's all quantum mechanics too. So you can look at it a different way, and I certainly can uh, look at it a much different way than what they do whenever they look through a telescope. Um, right. So, anyway, if you're still falling for all the judgment, if you still, okay, I'm better than because I'm not a serial killer, um, I would never do that. And uh, if, you, if you're doing that, yeah, pigeons are going to get you really too sweet. If you don't understand and believe and tr truly know that everything is, a, is an experience, every being is a creator God and they know what they're doing, if, and you know what you're doing even though you're just fumbling to remember how, but you're going to 5D, unless you really know that fact, either the pigeons or the geckos are going to get you. That's why I say judgment is the key here. That's what they're watching for. They're going to uh, drop an angelic being full of fake love in front of you, and you're going to judge that that is a better being than you and follow them. Uh, you're going to look at this or that, and you're going to, or they'll put up a bad person. The gecko, I mean the pigeons, ooh, they're really good at putting up a bad scenario so that you judge them badly. Like the geckos will show you angelic beings, and then when you judge them as being something to follow, then they grab you. And the and the, uh, the uh, good guys, supposedly, will set up uh, like a bad guy scenario. And then when you look down your nose to them and go, oh, well, I'm so much better, then they nab you. Uh, it's, it's backwards. These guys are good. And they are, uh, in, five, in the upper levels of 4D, they're very, very, very good. Okay? And if you can't, if you can't deal with it in in 3D, if you can't get my message here, you'll never get out of 4D. And if you do it badly enough, you'll end up back in 3D. Okay? All right, guys, let's take that all in. And uh, I have another video to do. This going to be so much fun. And this one's very, very serious, but the next one's going to be very fun. So, uh, yeah, huge hugs to everybody. You know I love you so much, and I'm only being firm because I'm concerned for you, okay? But I love you, all right? <laughs> I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.